Hello, 9 graders, and welcome to the lesson. Today's lesson on page 72, student's book, a discussion essay. In discussion essays, you present two sides of an argument. It should outline reasons for and against a particular issue. So if you are writing about a particular issue or a particular subject, you have to give reasons for and reasons against. We call the reasons for advantages and the reasons against disadvantages. But before we move on and proceed to learn how to write a discussion essay, let's look at the first exercise. In the first exercise, you have inventions in the yellow box. They are TV, video, the internet, mobile phone, car, radio, dishwasher, microwave, washing machine, and computer. So th these are the inventions. The idea is that you write correct and full sentences using could and couldn't. Three things that you could live without and three things that you couldn't live without. So let's give an example. I could live without. I could live without the video. dishwasher and microwave so I could live without the video dishwasher and microwave I couldn't live without live without computer, the internet, and mobile phones. Try to write your own sentences, three things that you could live without and three things that you couldn't live without. So when you write your discussion essay, you have to outline reasons for which are called the advantages and reasons against which are called the disadvantages. In the second exercise, you have to think of the advantages and disadvantages of the internet. And you have to make a list of your ideas. So try to make a list of your own ideas. This is an example for the advantages and disadvantages of the internet. The advantages of using the internet. You can find information quickly. You can do online shopping and online banking. And it's also a sort of or a kind or a resource of entertainment for everyone. The disadvantages of the internet. You will spend too much time on it and you will waste your time. And if you sit on the internet a long time, it is harmful to the spine. And also computer screen is harmful to the eyes. And the internet also causes addiction. So these are the advantages and disadvantages of the internet. Please try and write your own advantages and disadvantages to the internet. When you write your discussion essay, you have to conclude these elements in your essay. So you have to conclude these five elements. You have to give examples using the expressions for example and such as. So you use for example and such as when you want to give an example of your reason or your idea. For instance, if I'm writing about the internet and I'm saying that the internet is bad for your uh, health, for example, it hurts the spine or it causes many health problems such as binocular vision. You have to add idea. How do you add your ideas? By using the expressions also and in addition. So the internet is very bad for your health. 
Um, for example, it causes uh, many problems in, the, in your spine. In addition, it could hurt your eyes. And you also have to add a contrasting idea. You use these expressions on the other hand, on the one hand, on the other hand, but, or however. So you, th you use these expressions to add a contrasting idea. What's the difference between uh, a normal idea or a similar idea and a contrasting idea? I will give you this example so that you can understand the difference. He's quite small. He's quite small. And he's not very strong. He's not very strong. So in this example, we're saying that he's quite small and he's not very strong. We have a similar idea. In this example, he's quite small. But he is very strong. In this example, we have a contrasting idea. So being small and not strong are a similar idea, but being small and very strong is a contrasting idea. This is what we mean by similar and a contrasting idea. And also you have to explain your idea. How do you explain your idea? By using the expression, this means that. So the internet is very bad for your health. It, uh, for example, it could hurt you, it could hurt your spine. In addition, it could, uh, uh, it is harmful for your eyes. Um, this mean that you have to spend less time on it. So this is how you explain your idea. And the last element is to introduce the conclusion. So you introduce your conclusion by this expression, in conclusion. In conclusion, you have to write your own opinion. After you write the advantages, the disadvantages, and in the last paragraph, you have to write the conclusion, which is your own opinion. So this is how your discussion essay should look like. This is the form of the essay. You have to organize your essay into three paragraphs. The first paragraph talks about the advantages, which are the reasons for. The second paragraph you have to write about the disadvantages and they are the reasons against. In the last paragraph or in the third paragraph, you have to write the conclusion. So you start the advantages by this expression. On the one hand, this is very important. You should start the first paragraph, which is about the advantages by using the expression on the one hand. The second paragraph, which is about the disadvantages, you should start it by using the expression on the other hand. And the third paragraph, which is about the conclusion, you, you should start it by the expression in conclusion. And if you have noticed that after each expression, we use a comma. You have to use a comma after the expressions, especially when they come in the beginning of the sentence. And before you start your paragraphs, you have to write the subject. What is the invention that you are writing about? So you start the subject like this. TV is a useful invention. Discuss. Or uh, having a TV is essential. Or it is essential to have a TV. Discuss. Now let's look at the discussion essay in your student's book. And uh, let's look at the expressions.
and you can use it as a model for your writing. We dis this discussion is say, does it mention any of your ideas, the above ideas about the internet? So the internet is a useful invention. Discuss. So this is this is the subject, as you can see, and this is the first paragraph, which is about the advantages, and you have to start it by the expression on the one hand, then a comma. On the one hand, the internet is a useful invention. For example, this is the expression that you use to add an example. If you have a school project, you can find out information very quickly on the internet. You can look at reference books in the library too. But, and here uh, the writer is presenting a contrasting idea, but that takes a long time. The internet is also, and you can use also, to add another idea. The internet is also used by many people to keep up with things such as, and you use such as to add examples, the latest news, buy and sell things, play games, watch films, and listen to music. And now, the second paragraph, which is about the disadvantages, you have to start your paragraph by, by this expression, on the other hand, then a comma. On the other hand, there are disadvantages to the internet. For example, using computers for long periods is thought to be bad for your health and sometimes it is difficult to control what children see on the internet. This means that, here he is, the writer is explaining his idea by using the expression, this means that they might come across information which is not suitable for them. In addition, and you use in addition to add um, an idea. People might give up, uh, give up going to libraries or buying reference books. And the last paragraph, which is about the conclusion. In conclusion, the internet is very useful and people will keep on using it. It is uh, like having access to the world's library. However, and this is another expression, uh, we use it to explain the idea. Uh, sorry, we use it to introduce a contrasting idea. However, uh, it is not used sensibly. It can become a problem. You should always set a time limit for yourself. So this is a model for your writing. This is how you have to write your discussion essay. In exercise six, you have to write about two topics or one of the two topics. The first one, um, it is essential to have a mobile phone, discuss. The second topic, it is better to send an email than to write a letter. So uh, I have written an example for you for the first topic. Let's look at the example and see where did I use the expressions. It is essential to have a mobile phone, discuss. So this is how you write your topic. You start your first paragraph by the advantages and using the expression on the, other, on the one hand. So on the one hand, the mobile phone has a lot of important advantages. For example, here's another ex uh, expression I have used to add examples. If you are late outside home, you can phone your parents and explain why you are late. So they won't be worried. Mobile phones can also, and here I have used also to add uh, another idea. Mobile phones can also save people's lives. You can use it when there is an accident and someone is injured or in danger. Mobile phones are essential because sometimes you really need to use them. So this is an example for you and it's about the first paragraph which is about the advantages. You have to write your own advantages and the second paragraph, don't forget that you have to write it um, using the expression on the other hand and it's about the disadvantages and the third paragraph is about the, your conclusion. This is the end of our lesson. Thank you very much for listening and goodbye.